Hello everyone, today we are going to go over some Blind75 lead code in C++ today, and today we are working with valid parentheses. Now, before we get started, always breaking down our question to understand the whole context fully. We can ask ourselves what the input's going to be, what data structure slash algorithm slash technique to use, what to do with the data, and what our output's going to be. So now breaking down the question, as I'm just adding more comments for spacing. So we can fully understand what we're working with. All right. Now, given a string S containing just the characters of uh, three different types of parentheses, it looks like. Right here, we got one, we got two, we got three. Determine if the string is valid. An input string is valid if open brackets must be closed by the same type of brackets. Open brackets must be closed in the correct order. Every closed bracket has a corresponding open bracket of the same type. And then we have a following input. Right here, that would be, if it's actually a parentheses, we're going to return true. And then if, um, in example two, all the parentheses are closed and they're all corresponding, so it's also true. But in this case, in the third one, it's not, um, they're not the same brackets, so it's going to be false accordingly. So it looks like all, all together we are given a string and we need to return true if valid parentheses false otherwise s consists of parentheses only dot 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 and we also need to uh, false otherwise and we also need to check for edge cases if there is no string as well no uh, characters and the string as well yeah okie dokie right here so now uh, the technique uh, I will be using is we'll be uh, calling upon a stack we will. and if you are curious and wondering what a stack is uh, it's a type of data structure that much like in a stack of plates that have various methods of push uh, pop and then uh, such as push and pop on a stack namely uh, one is able to actually uh, have uh, organize their data accordingly depending on exactly how they um, want to keep track of what has been scanned. So we will use the stack to keep track of all the characters visited. <coughs> and what are we going to do with the data? Well, first things we're going to do is that we're going to initialize our stack. Second step we're going to do is loop through the string for every character and then for all of the beginning parentheses we will store the characters in the stack and then uh, for the closing parentheses, we're going to check to see if the uh, top of the stack has the corresponding character. If they are matching, Uh huh. If the stack is empty, or it's not met, or the character is not matching at the top, we uh, declare false. And then um, if the closing parentheses matches the top of the stack. We're going to pop the top element from the stack.
because the reason being that we are um, going to be popping the stack in particular, like say for instance that we have a given character right here in cyber stack. If we add this one uh, to start and then we are going to remove this one and we're going to check to see if the next one inside of our uh, string for the character is going to be matching. If it's matching this, then we will be returning false. But then if it's also corresponding with this, then we're going to continue uh, at the same time with our given character because for scanning the entire string, we can just focus on uh, we can just focus on one entirely and then we can just move over to the next one as well. And by boolean conditions, uh, uh, conditions by default, it's true. And then we also uh, have a method. If the character is matching. So we had a number of questions really when understanding more between the characters is that what we will be doing, we're going to create a separate method, really. That's going to be called upon within our main uh, type of main function. So that way we can actually see what is corresponding and such. Uh, so we will have a Boolean since Booleans are default by true. We're going to set our conditions. So this is what I will be doing. So we are going to create a private bool uh, to start which will be the character of open, character of close, and then we will return. It's going to naturally return true, so we'll have open dot 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 right here, um, and close is going to be right here, or So this will actually help us. This will actually set our conditions already in place. Let me be sure I got this right. And then that way we actually determine what's going to be open and what's going to be closed as well. So first things first, I'm going to initialize our stack for characters. We'll call it STK, and we're going to loop through the entire array for car C of S right here. What we will be doing is that storing all the characters inside the stack. And the way that we do this is we're going to use push. need to check um, if uh, C is going to be equal to here or push that So if we will be checking to see on the other characters as well. And our other uh, condition uh, for stack is empty and if it matches let me put uh, the stack. Excuse me. Empty. 
or SDK or what is matching SDK dot top for character. No. Let me hear. We will then return false. SDK top. Or pop over here. We will pop the stack. Return SDK dot empty since we already have the condition of what is true and then what is also false as well. Okay, um, let's just see if it all works. I'm sure I get everything right. Looks fine to me. Here we go. It passes all the test cases. Just gonna clean this all up for you guys. Ugh. Empty, and then it will be called by here. We will therefore empty the false. There we go. We will pop the stack accordingly. Okay. Oh, let's just double check. Pass all the test cases. All right, and it works. Okay, so now to just give a rundown and everything over what we have already done is so, given the fact that we're using the stack, the time complexity is going to be O of n, where n is the length of the strings um, relative, and given the fact we're using a data structure, uh, n is going to be set stack. And however, since we are using the data structure, uh, we, uh, the space complexity is going to be O of n for the most part, and so just give a rundown. Time complexity is O of n because it's relative to the size of the string, and then the space complexity is O of n because we're using a stack. All right, and so this was valid parentheses. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this. If you found this helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section. And as always, take care. Cheers. Bye-bye.